I am Santosh Gadankar. Today I am teaching you the border plot. This is the problem. G of s k divided by s s plus 2 into s plus 20. Here we have to find out the value of the k when the gain margin db and value of the k for the phase margin to be 50 degree. This is a problem and this is a procedure I am following it as that of the previous problems. First, and this is given in video. First step, step one, how to convert into fraction value. G of S is equal to is equal to K divided by yes. Two will be outside. Yes divided by two plus one. Twenty. Yes divided by twenty plus one. And this can be written as K divided by K divided by yes, yes, one plus zero point five yes. I am bringing one yes divided by two this side. That is one by two is nothing but zero point five. And one plus one divided by twenty is nothing but zero point zero zero five. Zero point five. Okay, zero point zero five. Zero point zero five. This side. And k and 2 into 20 is nothing but 40. I'll bring this one to upper portion. Okay, now I will consider <coughs> or I will replace k by 40 is equal to 1. Replace it. Now this expression becomes sorry, 1 divided by. Yes, 1 plus 0 0.5. Yes, 1 plus 0 0.05. Yes, 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 it will be yes. Okay, now step 2. Step 2 in place of yes, you have to write G of G, J omega, yes, J omega. 1 divided by j omega 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega 1 plus 0 0.05 j omega now step 3 you have to find corner frequency or control function 1 and same or you can write control function Or corner frequency no problem now you have to consider factors factor corner frequency c of e equal is a corner frequency or you can write corner frequency also no problem for one for one this is the procedure this is the procedure chart here. what we are doing for one for constant the corner frequency will be nil nil next j omega j omega raised to minus 1. This is at the bottom. If you take upward, it becomes j omega raised to minus 1. Now, it can be written at what? Just assume it. Yes, in place of yes, you have substituted j omega. Then the slope will be what? Corner frequency, it will be nil. Next, I will consider this part. 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega raised to minus 1. This is at the bottom. We are taking upward. Now, in place of here, yes, you have to place, you have to write j omega raised to minus 1. Now, the slope will be what? WTC, uh, WCT is nothing but 1 by t. 1 by t is nothing but 1 by 0 0.5. This will be 2 radian per second. Now, similarly, this part I will going to write 1 plus 0 0.05 j omega raised to minus 1. In WTC is nothing but 1 by t. In place of t, you have to write 0 0.05. Now it will be 20 radian per second. 20 radian per second. Okay. 20 radian per second. Next, we have to <coughs> draw the chart. I'll keep this side this one. 
This is the factors we have to consider. Arrange CF value in increasing order. The first is this one, factor one. We will consider the first factor. Next is this one, J omega raised to minus one. Next is two radian, one plus 0 0.5 J omega minus raised to one. And this one last, one plus 0 0.05 J omega raised to minus one. And this will be nil, nil. This one is nil. This is nil, this is nil. And this one is two radian, two. And that, and fourth is 20 radian. 20 radian. After completion of this one, you have to follow this part. Now, this is part. slope. For constant slope will be zero. Now, net slope will be zero. For this one, the slope will be 20. Why I have to take <coughs> minus 20 here? Because j omega lies at bottom. Here, j omega lies at the bottom. You have to take minus. If it is above, you have to take plus. 0, minus 20, minus 20. And next, similarly, 1 plus. For this one, the slope will be 20. Because it raised to minus 1, it should be minus 20. Now, 0, minus 20, minus 20, it will be minus 40. Now, similarly here, again, it is minus 20 because it lies at bottom. It lies at the bottom. Therefore, again you have to write minus 20. 0, minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, minus 60, you have to take. Now we are focusing over the magnitude. We are focusing over the magnitude. Focus over the magnitude. This is the magnitude. Now what we have to write for the constant 20 log 10, 1. For this one, you have to consider this value minus 20 log 10 is omega omega next this one minus 20 you have to consider this one minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.5 omega whole square omega whole square you have to write in this way next last minus 20 log y minus 20 this is the minus 20 10 root 1 plus 0 0.05 omega whole square. Next we have to focus over the face angle. Now for k it will be 0. I am writing 0 here. Next for this one the face angle will be 90. Whether I have to write plus 90 minus 90 because it lies at the bottom we have to write minus 90. Here minus 90. Next this part. The face angle will be n into 10 raise to omega t minus 1. n is nothing but if there is a square term you have to write square here. Now, minus tan inverse, WT is nothing but 0 0.5 omega by 1. That's it. Similarly, again this one, minus tan inverse, 0 0.05 omega divided by 1. We have written it. Okay? Omega by 1. This is the procedure we have to follow it. Next one. The 1 is the thing, but this is the 1. If they are given 2, you have to write 2. 3, you have to write 3 here. Okay? That is the important part. Next, I am going to find out the magnitudes. Magnitude. Step 5, we have to find out the magnitude. Magnitude. M is equal to 20 log 10. 1 minus 20 log omega minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.5 omega whole square minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.05 omega whole square. I will draw the table now. Now, I am using a shortcut method for drawing the table. Just you have to understand this one. It is very easy method. Just have to consider this is omega and this is magnitude. For omega, for 0 0.1. Why I have taken the 0 0.1? Because in the semi log sheet, I am considering this value as a 0 0.1. Okay, therefore I am considering omega value as a 0 0.1. Now substitute the 0 0.1 value in place of omega. You will get value as 
you will get value as 19.98 you'll get the value as 19.98 that means here is 0 I'm considering positive 20 positive 40 and positive 60 at the bottom I'm considering minus 20 minus 40 and minus 60 minus 60 now is approximately 20 here it is nothing but 20. Next, instead of considering this value 2, 3, 4 and 1, I am considering minus 20 value. Now first I will consider 0 value. For 0 for m, for 0 as m, what should be the value? How to obtain this value? Use the calculator. I will show the procedure. Write in this way. 20 I will show the procedure 20 log 1 minus 20 log alpha x minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.5 alpha x whole square close the bracket minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.05 alpha x whole square close the bracket alpha sol is nothing but is equal to sign appear 0 shift sol is equal to you will obtain the value of m that is magnitude it take a time for a while just wait it now answer is 0 0.90 now I will write the value as 0 0.90 next value is minus 20 here minus 20 I will consider a minus 20 here minus 20 now instead of 0 I will delete this part I will write minus 20 and shift solve is equal to you will get value of the same value it take for a while it will be 4.20 similarly now 20 is over 40 now minus 40 what should be the value right instead of 20 you have to write 40 here 40 shift solve is equal to shift and solve is equal to that right for 40, the value will be 12.88. Now again, last 60. For 60, what is the value? Just write 60 here. Type 60. Shift solve is equal to. The value will be 32.38 this completes omega versus magnitude next we are focusing over the face step 6 face angle face angle this is the face angle phi is equal to phi is equal to 0 minus 90 minus tan inverse tan inverse 0 0.5 omega minus tan inverse 0 0.05 omega next I will consider omega and phi first I will consider 0 0.5 I will substitute the value of omega 0 0.5 here the answer will be for this one the answer will be minus 93.1414 okay now here <clears throat> I have to move this face angle 30 30 now magnitude is moved 20 20 here face angle this is 180 this will be minus 150 this is minus 120 and this is minus 90 and this will be minus 
टू टेन माइनस टू फोर्टी नाउ वी ऑप्ट इन दिस वैल्यू हियर एट जीरो पॉइंट वन एट जीरो पॉइंट वन थर्टी थ्री एंड इफ इट इज थर्टी हियर इफ इज थर्टी ईच बॉक्स इज अथिंग बट सिक्स सिक्स ट्वेल्व एटीन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड थर्टी ईच बॉक्स स्मॉल बॉक्स विल बी थर्टी सिक्स ईयर ओके ना हियर ईच बॉक्स विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव दैट मीन्स फोर एट सिक्सटीन ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी ईच बॉक्स विल बी फोर ईयर एंड ईच बॉक्स विल बी सिक्स ईयर ओके आई हैव कंसिडर दिस वैल्यू नाउ नेक्स्ट आई विल डायरेक्टली कंसिडर वन ट्वेंटी नाउ डायरेक्टली आई विल कंसिडर वन ट्वेंटी नाउ आई विल कंसिडर वन ट्वेंटी ईयर Now, how to obtain the value for 120 is very important here. I will use the calculator. Same procedure. I will use it. Minus 90. Ah, uh, while doing this one, you have to keep in the complex mode. Okay, complex mode. You have to keep minus 90 minus uh, tan inverse 0.5 alpha x close the bracket minus tan inverse 0.05 alpha x close. Alpha sol is equal to sine appears. It is minus 120, minus 120, minus 120. Shift sol is equal to. The answer for this one is is 1.02. Next is minus 150 here. As per the graph, it is minus 150. Now I will replace 120 in place 150. Shift sol is equal to minus 150. Answer for this one is 2.61. Again, uh, <coughs> 150 is over. 120 is over. 150 is 180. I will draw. I will type 180. 180 here. Shift sol is equal to. For 180, it will be 6.32. And last, I will take minus 210. Similar again, same procedure. You have to do it. 210 shift solve is equal to. You will obtain the value as 15.31. 15.31. This completes your theoretical part. Now we are focusing on the graphical part. Now, graphical part. Becomes very easy. Now, first, this is zero. Uh, for zero point one, it is twenty. Mark it twenty. Zero point one, it is twenty. Next, for zero point nine zero, it is zero point one, zero point two, three, four, five, six, nine. Nine is nothing but here. Twenty. It is minus twenty here. Nine is nothing but minus twenty. Oh, sorry. For zero, it is zero point nine zero. For zero, this is zero line. It cut here. Next for minus twenty, it is four point two zero. Four point two zero. This is uh, one, two, three, four. Four will be here. Four point two means approximately here. Four point. This is four. This is four point two. This is for twenty. Now forty. Forty. This is forty. Twelve they have sent. This is ten. This is. Uh, This is ten. This is twenty, thirty, forty. This is twelve means uh, uh, eleven. This is ten, eleven, twelve, twelve around here for forty. Eleven, twelve for forty. It appears here. Okay, it appears here. Next, sixty. This is sixty, thirty-two. They have said thirty-two, sixty, thirty-two around here. That's it. Now draw the line. This completes the <coughs> graph. This is nothing but CGM is zero point nine zero. Already we know that this CGM. Next. We are focusing over the face margin. Face margin. 
this is the face margin this is the value for face margin value for face margin for 0 0.1 this is the 0 0.1 for 0 0.1 is 93 this will be around here next 120 this is 120 120 what's the value 1.02 120 1.02 this is 1 around here next uh, 150 150 2.26 2.26 this is 2 6 here the next 180 6.32 this is 6 6.32 next for 210 15 15 means this is 11, 10 11 12 13 14 around here 15 for 210 approximate draw the graph now pcm is nothing but but you know 6.32 6.32 pcm we got gcm now as per the question we have to find out value of k for the gain margin just draw a line from the this part this part and if you measure this value this value will be 4 8 12 16 20 24 24 it appears around 28 gm will be 28 how to find out the value of uh, this uh, k there is a formula 20 log this is your right in place of k your right k divided by 40 is equal to 28 minus 10 because 10 db there is 10 db 10 db is nothing but difference if you take a 10 db here what is the difference you have to write i am not showing the difference okay what is the value of k how to find out the value of k here k is nothing but 20 log alpha x divided by 40 close the bracket alpha is equal to 28 minus 10 close the bracket shift solve is equal to the k value will be 317.32 now similarly find the value of k for the this is for the gain margin this you have to find out for the face margin for finding the face margins, draw a line from this part at the bottom. At the bottom, it is already 60, uh, 30, 60, it is will be 63, something 63. If you are not getting the value here, exact value, just find out the values here. What is the value here? Omega, Omega. What is the value of omega here? Omega is around 0 0.90. Substitute the value at 0 0.90. We will get the value here. Minus 90 minus tan inverse 0 0.5 into 0 0.90 minus tan inverse 0 0.05 into 0 0.90. The answer will be 160. This is the answer. Okay. I will write aside here. I will write here. 1. 166.80 this is the 169 116.80 we have to take from the reference here it is already minus minus of minus 180 you have to do minus of minus 180 you have to do and divide by 6 you have to do oh look you got the value here You will get the number of uh, boxes here. It is around 
intersects the column. Okay. You have to do in this way. Here, listen here. After getting the value 116.80 minus of minus 180, the answer will be 63.165. In this way, you have to do it. Okay. Just follow the procedure here. First, 90. In place of omega, you have to substitute the value of 0 0.9. And this value is obtained. You have to write it this value 116.80 minus bracket 180 and this value appears. That means this value is nothing but from this part to this part, the PM is nothing but 63.195. Now again, value for the k in terms of pm, 20 log k divided by 40 is equal to 63.195 minus what they have said it for find the value for db, 50, 50, for 50. If we substitute the value in this way, 20 log shift k sorry k alpha k x divided by 40 alpha sol is nothing but is equal to sine 63.195 minus 50 shift sol is equal to the k value for the face margin will be 182.73 now GCM is nothing but 0 0.90, 0 0.90 dB and GM is nothing but 28 dB. At the bottom, you have to consider minus of minus. I am directly I'm using it. Yet is nothing but minus. You have to write minus of minus 28 is nothing but dB you have to write. 28 dB you have to write. And PCF, sorry, PCM is nothing but in some videos I am using the PCF and some videos I am using PCF, okay, PCM. Okay. Or you can use it as a PCM, grain, crossover frequency you can write. PCF, PCF and GCF. Gain, phase crossover frequency. DF here. It is 6.32 radian per second and pm is a thing but 63.195 for volume for k in terms of face margin in terms of k margin i am satush gaidankar thank you very much